get a little bit more footage. So here we are in the van ship. Uh, just sort of checking out a few things. I'm on Ethiel's server. Just finished destroying a few pirate stations. Uh, was just testing out. And a pirate ambush. Yeah, and a pirate ambush, yeah. Just testing out the shroom slice and uh, hanging out with the bros. Decided to spawn in a few things. So this here is my Superman's fortress uh, to be docked on a ice planet. And there's my uh, grav elevator for scale. And then over here is the Bebop, which is a ship I'm just sort of working on at the moment. We had a lot of errors in there from the conversion, but I can fix that. And then over here we've got a motorbike. Motorbikes are cool. Making a space motorbike. And yeah. Well only because yeah, I don't think it was meant to be a light cycle. I think it was based on that bike that they made with the four wheels and the big V10. But who knows? And then this is the jackhammer, my turret, which I'm working on. Which isn't finished. But yeah, just checking out some stuff. Stuff, modeling stuff. I like this though. I want to do more of this sort of decorative models for planets. I think that'd be really cool. Because the thing is, SketchUp was actually made to, to put things on Google Earth. Well, it wasn't made for that, but it was made to make it easy for people to put 3D models in SketchUp. So there's more buildings and things like that on the warehouse than anything else so you know just putting that out there um hey zero what's this ship called i forgot this is the crossbow mark one escort frigate it's really nice this particular version is the cutlass variation used by pirates it looks a lot like something from crossbow and gundam but they have some cool ships in that show Yep, so that's about it. Just a short one there. Oh, and of course, uh, the Enterprise by Enfo. And hey, where'd this come from? You've got an Enterprise for the win. You got a you you just snuck a Galaxy class out. Where where did that come from? That's not a Galaxy. Oh really? Okay, so what is it then? It's a uh, Nemo sign. A what? Nemo sign. Well, I'm glad you're here to correct me, mate, because I would have thought that was a galaxy. It resembles a galaxy, but it's not. A Nemo sign? Yep. That, see, you just, people just don't know. Van ships, maneuverability, let's do it. Hi, uh, Joe. Go ahead and sneak into the open holes on the neck. Yeah, they have. They, it's, um, so I can Ooh. get in and out and do building construction work. I wonder. Nah, van ship too. Nah, van ship's too no. big. No, but you can get close, jump an astronaut, and. Alright. Oh no! Come back, van ship! Oh, never mind. It's gone. It's floating away. Right. Oh, you putting floors in this beast? Yes. There's just gonna be so many floors. Just well, you have not heard the Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's cool. Interior already in construction. Start of a warp core. Yeah. Now I know where to aim. <laughs> better yet. I've got the beginnings of a bridge. Um, where is it? Like, at the very top of the saucer. It's got an open hole. Hole. Bleh, that you can see into the bridge with, but beyond that. And you've also got the beginnings of an impulse engine deck and hangar decks. Which actually do have flex doors. It's even got 
got a working uh, set of, of, um, of a missile turret, or so at least it's got some uh, weapons capability in it. They don't think it does? I think that might. That, yes, it does have shields, not a lot. That's cool. Excelsior! Excelsior! Ooh. This, one like, this one's like a raw, uh, improperly converted Minecraft world schematic thing. Here, yes, you can walk around in it, but really? It's kind of uh, messy. It's like that server. They and got they lost. Push in astronaut mode. And got lost in when it did work. Yeah. yeah I can Not definitely exactly. look at it and tell at one point it was in Minecraft. <laughs> I, b I killed it! For the win! Back. The haunted ship is back! Run! And it's probably uh. lit! Dark as hell on the inside? Take a look for yourself! Oh wow, it is properly lit. I'm gonna take this opportunity to come dock at the back. Here we go. Uh... Bang. Nice. Got a good view from out the back here. I'm just gonna jump under my ship. Very nice. Love the van ship. So practical. Amazing. Right. Right. Properly lit Voyager. Here we go. People such as Atrocity build such well-designed schematics. Now, if only we could get Smedic to take it properly convert them, then it's not going to be easy or correct most of the time. Well, part of that problem is most of the detail blocks for a lot of stuff done in Minecraft, we don't have blocks that properly emulate that in StarMate, like half blocks or yeah. fence posts. Half blocks, or yeah. Chairs. Yeah, chairs too. Chairs. Don't they don't have chairs, mate. They just make them out of like a half slate and a sign or something. But the doors as well, look. It's funny. Where this isn't a good example I'm just looking at now. Um where doors sometimes uh open they open out and so they <laughs> This is actually, this door would have been closed and facing itself, but because one was placed from here and another place, you know, each of the two doors was placed from a different side. And so when it converts, we've got a plex door there and a plex door there, not next to each other, but diagonally. And that's because of course, Minecraft doors, when they're open, they're on the back edge of the square, whereas the Plex door takes up the whole square. But yeah. And you see that throughout the shit. <laughs> now, where's the gravity block on this beast? It doesn't have one. Oh god. Found a better way of getting around. What you do, get in the core? Uh, no. no. He is a dwarf and he's digging holes, digging 
diggy diggy uh -oh. hole. I will find a way out. I got to. Yeah, I'm out. The bridge is kind of. Uh... I'm out. And I made it back out without having to dig. Proof that we all at least watch Yogg's cast. <laughs> Whereas we get stuck in two meter high corridors and we have to take a jiggle to get out of it. We get stuck on floor panels that should be level. Indeed. Even in gravity. Indeed. It does look nicer with all the lights. It, it looks a lot nicer with all the lights done, man. It was very easy, to, much easier to navigate compared to... The one, yeah, from the video. <laughs> oh, and she's gone. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> that just suddenly appeared. Looks like just a saucer section. Looks full to me. It's loaded up. Oh, no, there it goes. Right, now, is this a galaxy class? Yes. Finally. So where'd you get this one from? I converted a, uh, oh. a model. It's not an act, it, it did not come from the SketchUp page, though. Oh, well done. Full size. No. In fact, I'm still messing around in order to get the dimensions right. Hang on. Yeah, because it looked way smaller than the uh, Enfos. This one, on the other hand. Mm hmm. Oh, crap. That's big. Is this one to scale, is it? I have no idea. You don't know. It's bigger. <laughs> it is definitely bigger, yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm just going to give it a quick whip round, because I like it when they load up fully. Have you noticed the game's gotten a lot much better with that as well? Once it's loaded, it stays loaded. Yeah, it has. Or if it despawns briefly, it's easier to reload. Mm. I'm thinking this might be the one I'll end up working on. Yeah, yeah. This does look nice. Was it just a better size or same model? I might I might widen it by one block, but that'd be about it. <laughs> Blimey. It won't look pretty, but at least but at least it'll take it in well. Be somewhat representative of a probably a quarter scale or half scale galaxy. Half scale? I think you're gone. Seriously? I never knew the galaxy was that much bigger than the first one, I must admit. Oh, don't get me started. Give me a second. Got me started, so uh -oh. I have to do this. Okay. Look, look, look what you did, Tom. So what happened then? What? How How long is the Enterprise D? Loading, Google. Okie dokie. That's what I do. Whenever I do a model conversion, I just look up the wiki page for the ship I'm doing and I just find out the length and uh, make sure that the model is the right length to begin with. But that's really nice. I'll give you extra credit if you manage to make it undo make the saucer a dockable. <laughs> that would be impressive. The galaxy is 641 meters long. And the uh, Constitution is barely 301 meters long, so it's a little more than double. half and two points. It's like double the size. Blimey. That poor little defiance. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not the smallest thing out there. There's the Oberth as well. Yeah, but isn't that Which like is a science vessel? What I know.
that view. I'd play with that view. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I've killed someone. Finally. First thing I tried to build was my surfboard, <laughs> and obviously that doesn't really work. You have to get in the cockpit. And release the docking cap. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, P. P three twelve o'clock. Oh, he's rammed me. That's unfortunate. Got free look, a zoom, and the character will sort of pin. So as you can see, I'm rotating like that. Uh, normal movement controls, same as if you're running about. So uh, guns don't actually fire yet. So and also large ships can only have the. Um, Oh no! Right, press X soon. Soon. Right, burn a little bit longer towards the blue thing. Oh, 2019, 16, god that kills everyone. True, true. <laughs> Other than that, I'm at a bit of a loss, but Can anyway. Can you Pure Amazing, Fantas Longhorn and Seron 16 play? <laughs> Bot Survival.